Yesterday, Roblox turned UGC Limited from an idea to reality and has consequently changed the way the market will work forever. In this video, I'll be discussing UGC Limited, what they are, how they operate, and what Big Games has to do with all of this. Before I begin this video, feel free to check out my website, Instabooks. I'll leave a link in the description. A few weeks ago, Roblox brought back limited use for the first time in over four years. I made a video going into detail into this and what I thought would happen, but that brings us to yesterday when Roblox finally chose to give UGC creators the ability to create limited use. As it stands, UGC creators can only make limited use, so none of the existing UGC items can become limited, but I can only assume that this will change over time. So I'll split this video into two parts. First, I'll discuss all of the changes with limiteds, and then I'll discuss all of the problems and what big games has to do with all of this. So, UGC limiteds are, as expected, very oversaturated. It doesn't appear that there are many limitations at all with these limiteds, and by the looks of things, UGC creators can make as many as they want as often as they want. The only clear limitation is that the UGC creator must deposit Robux, which depends on the quantity and price of the limited, and will be reimbursed when the limited is sold. Roblox explains that this is to promote higher quality limiteds, as creators won't want to risk losing their deposit. But as we'll see in this video, it's not exactly very effective. The owner of Trade Hangout was even able to upload two limiteds for free, one with 10,000 copies yesterday, and today a second limited with 42,000 copies, both sold out instantly. I wasn't even able to get my hands on them because the site was lagging so much. As I mentioned in my previous video on limited use, there's no limit to how many of the limiteds you can buy before they sell out, and because they were free, people were hoarding them. I wasn't able to get any because Roblox was crashing at everyone trying to get one. So, from what I've seen, creators have virtually no limitation on the quantity or price of these limiteds. They can set it to however much their bank account can afford. I'm sure there's a cap or limitation at some point, but as seen with this limited, on screen, UGC creators are able to create very expensive and very high quantity limiteds. This limited has over 15,000 copies and is priced at 1,000 Robux. Something tells me that this creator won't get his deposit back anytime soon. Now let's go over some of the changes with these limiteds. First of all, instead of getting 70% of the limited, with Roblox taking 30% like usual, you'll now only get 40% of the money from reselling UGC limiteds, with both Roblox and the original creator taking a 30% percent cut. So for most of these limiteds, you won't get anywhere near making profit, as you'll have to sell the limited for over double what you initially bought it for. Secondly, you'll need to wait 30 days after buying the limited to be able to resell it. This is partly a good thing, it means creators can't use instant hype to try and quickly drive up demand for the limited and sell it high, but it also means that you've got to wait a very long time to get your money back, and by the time you go to sell it, the hype may have completely died out. On top of this, these limiteds aren't at all tradable even after the 30-day holding period. So I guess anyone who had concerns of these limiteds being more valuable than Roblox made limiteds, those concerns are instantly thrown out the window. I don't think UGC limiteds are at all a threat to the existing limited market, which I guess is great news. So overall, I'd say the UGC limited selection is pretty poor, and I wouldn't recommend buying any of these limiteds unless they appear to be made by quite a popular developer, such as the creator of Big Games, who published a UGC limited yesterday, simply titled called Banana, with only 99 copies. For those who don't know, Big Games is the development studio responsible for games such as Pet Simulator, Pet Simulator 2, and their most recent uniquely titled game, Pet Simulator X, which is consistently pulling over 100,000 concurrent players. And this is where I become somewhat torn with UGC Limiteds. I can see that people like Preston, the owner of Big Games, will absolutely rinse UGC Limiteds and will make an absurd amount of money, but I also think that these Limiteds will end up being the most valuable out of all of the UGC Limiteds. I mean, I guess we'll have to wait until the 30-day holding period expires on the banana to see if I'm right, but I do think that this will end up being a really highly valued Limited, and I think a lot of people will make a lot of profit. Depending on how creators use this, UGC Limiteds made by people such as Preston could actually end up being really good investments if you're able to get your hands on them. He's got a very active community, and we've already seen really high demand with his real-life toys that he sells, with many of them reselling for so much money. And this is where I actually end up thinking that UGC limiteds should be kept for the top creators with really active communities, as those limiteds
Limited will be the most sought after and will inevitably be the most successful. Originally, when I was first writing this video, I wanted to end by saying that Preston and people like him would be the downfall of Roblox Limited, as I believe he will exploit so many people and earn so much money from this, and I still partly agree with that, but I'm actually finding myself thinking that it will be people like Preston that will make the most Roblox-like Limited and will make the most people the most money. I do think that he'll end up doing limited drops with large sales and create limiteds that are high quality and a part of a series. And ultimately, I think his limiteds will be the most sought after and the most beneficial for people who are lucky enough to get their hands on them. And again, it honestly hurts me to my core to come to this conclusion because ultimately Preston goes wherever the money flows. And I personally think he's a huge sellout. When it comes to the most profitable, highest quality limiteds, it will be him who makes them. And he won't just end up making himself a lot of money, but anyone lucky enough to get their hands on his limiteds will make an absurd amount of money as well. Anyway, I've gone on long enough. There's so many pros and so many cons to UGC Limiteds, but I think I've given a pretty in-depth view onto them and what we can expect over the next few weeks and months. If anything changes with UGC Limiteds, I'll definitely update everyone. It will definitely be very interesting to see what happens over the next few weeks and months and what the resale prices are when the 30-day holding period expires. So we'll keep an eye on that. I'd love to know what you all think about UGC Limiteds. Please let me know in the comments. I hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.